So last episode, I asked you guys to vote on how many doctrines you thought would be fun for this playthrough. Because that's all I care about, right? How fun it is. I will try and keep it balanced as we could. A lot of you want to see nine. A lot of you want to see four. Less of you wanted to be six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with six. Why am I going to go with six? Well, honestly, taking nine doctrines is almost pointless anyway. Because a lot of the doctrines are obviously opposite to one another. You can't take, say, meritocracy and an attic. Which we've got to take an attic because that's sort of the point of the playthrough, right? Um, but with that, you're also cancelling out certain other things. So, taking nine doctrines, you generally end up with a couple of useless ones anyway. Four doctrines would be, in my opinion, the best one. But a lot of you guys wanted to see more than that just because it's something different and fun, I guess. Kind of a, I, I won't min-max it because I feel like they will be quite OP. So, we'll just, pick some, uh, we'll just pick some strange ones. We'll pick some that complement one another and then some wild cards, eh? To try and keep it fair. That way, I feel like everyone's pleased. So, nature. I think we want something like unyielding. A lot of you also gave me some really, really good hints for what to go for. Basically, everyone said, hey, don't go peaceful because peaceful is shit. You said that because we are Berber, we can loot anyway, regardless of our religion. Um, or, well, unless we obviously we go for peaceful, but so we're not going to do that. Um, what happens if we go daring? Prevent invasions are allowed. Followers of this religion can become notorious raiders by looting. I assume this gives us more events on top of the looting we already have available to us. So I think this is how you become like the Sea King. Whereas if we didn't say that, we could still loot. We just wouldn't get any long-term bonuses for it. So I still kind of like to take daring. Even though that's what I was going to use to give us to uh, give us access to looting. Seeing as apparently we can get that culturally anyway. What I'm going to go for then is... Seabound seems appropriate, seeing as we are on an island right now. I think Seabound is absolutely the way to go. And, and as we're going to play as a Republic 2, we'll turn our, our, our capital into this like absolute powerhouse of... You know, sea bound and daring, like like almost like a pirate republic, right? That sounds quite cool. An attic, naturally. You, one of you guys pointed out that the only reason we couldn't take an attic last time is because we took polygamy. And again, that's kind of the reason I'm not going for nine doctrines at once, because you know, an attic is the opposite of polygamy, and then meritocracy is the opposite of an attic. Things like that. So we've got to be very careful in how we do this. So these are actually the only options we have left. Um, what do I not like here? Divine marriage, it's got to happen. Uh, more chance of getting strong geniuses if everybody is a strong genius married to other strong geniuses, right? Astrology, kind of shitty. Just gives us access to the hermetics and gives us zodiac traits. Not a big fan of that. I feel like having... Uh, what was it I wanted? I feel like ancestor veneration would be a lot cooler. Dead ancestors to give special status. That sounds kind of interesting. Um, Seabound... Yeah, daring isn't particularly strong because we've already got the ability to loot. Seabound is the strong one. Divine Marriage is also going to be pretty strong. Anatic is just for the flavor. So I don't think we've got any particularly broken OP ones yet. Nature proselytizing. I don't like that. I think we're going to go for unyielding. I feel like we're definitely going to go unyielding, right? Um, warmongering isn't bad. But we did warmongering last time. Dogmatic is also pretty cool. I'm going to go for unyielding. You know, the high defensive religion that likes to go out looting. Not necessarily, you know, going out it, with doing these major bloodthirsty holy wars. But, you know, just wants to build themselves. Or just wants gold. Who doesn't just want gold in life? Uh, so sure, we're going yielding. Why not, eh? Um, Totem Guardians, that's sort of our our African-specific one, so I will take that one, because that's fine. Um, what do you think in terms of leadership? Temporal would be kind of interesting. We become the head of the Throog, uh, the Throog religion. Hierocratic, we get a priest. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that one at all. I feel like that one might be the worst one. I, actually, I feel like Autocephalus is even worse than Hierocratic, isn't it? Autonomous seems very interesting, but without knowing the what the branches will do for us. I, I'm not really willing to go for that one. Plus, it doesn't allow great holy wars. This gives us great holy wars. This basically gives us a lot of power. Can you become the head of a religion and the head of the republic? Does that mean that what, if, say, you're not elected head of the republic, does that mean that you're still the religious head? I'm not sure whether the title passes along with the republic one. That's my only concern with that. Um, this looks good, though. I kind of like this. Astrology, Hermetic Society, not a big fan of that. That one might be... I might swap this one out. Bloodthirsty Gods. Um... Become a, can we become that Hemoarch again? Divinus read the signs of war trying to improve troop morale. Not a big fan of that one. Sympathy, definitely don't want. Um, rulers can spend piety to improve courtiers' attributes. Short rain penalty. I'm going to go with that one. Fuck the Hermetic Society. Let's go for this one instead. Boom. I hope you guys appreciate my decisions. I hope you guys agree with my decisions as well. Um, I like the fact that nothing's happening. That's my favorite part. There we go. It took a second. Princess, Priestess, Mega Hilda. That's her name now. That's not actually her name, but she's usurped some temples. Um, I assume these are swapping out reformed versus unreformed? No, they're just they're just swapping them out for some reason. The African Reformation. The ancient African religion is proving unable to withstand the onslaught of the cross and the moon rather than abandoning the old ways. Grand 
Salt, sorry, Grand Saltigu? I don't know what that says. Irog and the most powerful priests have decided to reform the African faith in order to defend its followers from infidel invaders. Firmly under the leadership of a holy grand, again, Saltigu, who knows, the African faith has ratified all spells and charms once preserved by all tradition into a proper holy text. Nice. This sounds very, very cool. For the spirits. So what have we got out of that then? Um, I guess we won't see. Man, the game's running so slow since I've done that. What the hell? I've broken it. All right then. We've got so much shit to to do now. And I've got hiccups. It's part of, part of Reformation, apparently. So, the daughter that we do want to inherit here, Igor Bint Irog, is uh, strong, attractive, uh, groomed, naturally, ambitious, erudite, playful. She's a pretty decent character. If this becomes brave, and this becomes gregarious, she's going to be an incredibly good character. She's not doing too great in terms of martial, though, seeing as we want her to be, obviously, a warrior woman. But the looting aspect of things is going to be very, very good. So... Even if she does come out crappy, we can do all the looting and gain the bonuses from that. We've obviously still got access to the warrior society, so that's no downside. I figured, what's the point in getting hermetics? I didn't want to get that to, for, for, for balancing reasons, because we took so many doctrines. But I figured, what's the point when we're always going to be part of the Children of the Storm anyway? They might as well just go for five doctrines, so that's point A. Alright, unmarried heir, you're irrelevant. It's a real shame you can't get, uh... Man, we're just fully anatic, eh? You can become anatic cognatic. Make an inherit, but only if there are no eligible females. I feel like we should probably switch to that just for safety reasons. Um, this is cool. This is a very cool idea. All right, that's, that's kind of nice. So again, the, the, the Woman Republic is another thing added by Holy Fury. That's our next goal now. So we need absolute tribal organization. We need a large market city in our capital, which I feel well, we can probably just get now, right? Yeah, we absolutely can. So what we need now is the tribal organization, which will take us probably not much time. So we've got two supporters, two, three against. Uh, we could probably bribe a couple of them, to be honest with you. Now, men are forbidden from holding positions of power. We're obviously exempt because we were the first reformer. But after that, we are limited to only men or only women on the council, right? Oh, no. Well, there's clearly a guy with power on the council. Why has he not been sacked? It's because he's a vassal, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. How to Worship the Creator. Classic book. <laughs> so weird. All right. Uh, court chaplain. You'll do. As long as you're reformed. Now, let's see what we've got to do in terms of proselytizing. Um, let's go to the religious map mode. You know what? We actually got a fair amount. Obviously, we've got a very weak, weak religion uh, relative to our neighbors and relative to other parts of Africa. A lot of places converted, though, which is quite nice. All right, um, you go ahead and immediately start proselytizing. Um, let's get right down here and just start immediately converting as soon as possible. I like you can see the little gold mines on the map as well. I never noticed that before. Now, one of you even said we could build another trade route somewhere else, and I just completely ignored it. Um, can we fuck? Why the hell was that? Um... I mean, everywhere in our realm that has potential trade posts already have one in. I mean, we've got this one, which was the salt mines, if you remember. Should probably upgrade that, because that seems to give a lot of... A plus 5... Wow, plus 60 to trade well. And plus military tech. I believe there are also events associated with that as well, not just with the gold ones. So that's definitely something else we need to do. Why am I so over my domain size, eh? Um, what do we inherit? Just got a shit ton of stuff. Oh, apparently we got this. We got part of Ghana? Okay. Uh, there's the kingdom of Ghana. What's the digital size of that? Oh, so it's all this one here. And we also grabbed... Oh, the holy sites. Right, fair enough. What else did we grab, then? We just inherited a shit ton of land. I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, look at this. We've also got infidel tax on these provinces. Well, that's pretty good. Wait, why has that got infidel tax? Is it because it's a different culture? I honestly don't know how... Oh, right, the non-population. Right, okay, I see. Sorry, I don't really understand how the... Uh... I've never played as... To my knowledge, I've never really done a massive um... Islamic campaign in CK2. So I don't really know how the infidel tax works. Placing on the non-population, it's larger than... So it just gives plus 25% local tax. Well, that's pretty decent. That's, like, really good for expansion. Gao is suffering terribly from a heavy downpour. Of all... I mean, it must have been that rain dance we did last episode, eh? Um, perhaps we can save some of the people. Your agents will make sure that your rival is caught in a landslide. Sorry, is Igor... Igor, I was going to call her fucking Igor again. Is Igor our rival? She absolutely is. No, uh, you know what? We cannot afford to lose the buildings. Gain 20 prestige, lose 77 gold, and she's dead. It's a tragedy. She also dies. A random building... Oh my god, really? This seems very strange. We lose 77 gold, but a random building is destroyed in this province. I mean, I don't really care about this province, so sure, why not? We've got to try and save Igor. Uh, Igor again? What is wrong with me? Good try and save Igor. Igor through. How many times have I said that name, and now I still can't pronounce it? All right, well, there's our salt mine. Can we upgrade that any further? Um, which one was it? It was like this one, eh? Um, nope, just one level. We could build a garrison, though, which gives us some retinue sides as well. Uh, not really worth it, seeing as when we flip to a republic, we can build plenty of those anyway. So, rather go for the more important uh, trade route sites rather than just wasting, you know, money on that type of thing. Now, what are we looking at in terms of, like, trade posts? 
already existing. Let's go for uh, Trade Zones, Matt. Malfi, you know, oh god, they've actually grabbed a lot of land, haven't they? Genoa is probably going to be our biggest rival in terms of Republic. It's a long time before we get to that, anyway. Well, it's, it's already not, is it? We can probably go for... Oh, man, we can go for Religious Revocation, though. That's not a bad idea. Start taking all the land off of everyone. And actually hold it personally. Uh, or maybe even give it to the vassals of our culture. It's probably not a bad idea. Yeah, let's start working on that, then. So, um... Oh, tribal... You know what? Let's, let's get this one done first before we go in for tribal obligations. So, we want to go to our council. We want to see how they're voting. So, obviously, this guy is never going to vote in favor of that because he is probably... Oh, no, he is reformed. You know what? I've changed my mind. I'm going to buy a favor from you, my friend. How... Wait, sorry. How much? Inspire Mellorism? What? What is this? Is this from our government time? This is where we spend piety to improve them, right? Uh, sure. And how much does that cost us, then? 150 piety. He must be... He must be female? Kind of nice that they've taken that into consideration that if you're playing with uh, agnatic or anatic clans, that the rulers have to be, you know, that gender before you can do things like that. Maybe it's heavily limiting. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so, for example, you, I assume we would be able to inspire. Okay, I guess not then. Ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I want to buy some favors from you guys. You want 80 gold. Done. Uh, I'll basically go for the cheap ones, to be honest with you. Uh, you want 56 gold. By all means, take it. You want another 80 gold. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Here, take, take all my gold. So, you and you are inspired. She said no because we ran out of gold before we could actually get it. Alright, we only needed two anyway. So, calling council support. Calling council support on you. We can apparently... In Let's see what that event does. Oh, God. No, cancel. No, 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 no. I've, I've changed my mind. No, I've changed my mind. You stay where you are. I meant to call in council support. Alright, there we go. Oh, we can also demand religious conversions on them. Probably wouldn't hurt. Let's see what this hap Let's see what happens with this. So, we lose 150 piety. She'll focus on improving one of her attributes. Does that affect our children? So this is one way to find out. Um, recruit warrior. Well, that's our son for a start. Get out. Don't even talk to me. Uh, daughter, daughter. Da you're a daughter. Yeah, we can. Oh, that's incredible. So that way, if even if our daughter comes out shitty, as long as she's just in our court as a courtier, we can keep trying to improve her. Sort of similar to the Avatar mod in that sense. That's a nice little feature. I like that. Okay. Um, oh, we didn't even choose our military aspect. Whoops. Uh, what do you think? Duelist, strategist, or hunter? We'll go strategist, naturally, because that is probably the best one in terms of pure um, warriorship. And let's gain our spirit warrior trait as well. I can't believe I forgot to do all these things. There's so much that Holy Fury has added that I'm still trying to get my head around and just sort of remember what they actually do for us. Okay. Um... We could recruit to the Warrior Lodge. Why not? Let's start building up our martial education early on. Then we're going to start pushing in that council favor. Nice. She's in. Okay. Let's do this one before I forget. So, religious revocation. Let's just double check that we've got all what we need to pass for that. Three supports. Three undecided. That should be more than enough. Thank you very much. Um, wait. What about R, though? Did that not count? Um, apparently not. Why didn't R vote count? Weird. Okay. Uh, well, I can buy the favor of one more. I don't really mind. Or we could at least try and convince someone. Um... You're returning favors to me, naturally. What about you? Why do you not call it? We'll just, we'll just request it. Fuck it. No, actually request it for someone we can get rid of. Um, request council support. Yes. There is value in historical records. Or we can say we're observing the troops. Um, there, these are classics for anyone interested in strategic warfare. Surely I do not need the basics. I should be out there on the field serving the troops first hand. So diplomacy or learning. I'll take the, take the diplomacy. Absolutely. All right. Welcome aboard. And then I'm going to sack her. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, I guess we didn't... We didn't need it anyway. Thanks, game. Well, there we go. Revoke title is now set to religious. So what we probably want to do now is start the full revocation. So let's go realm, reset all, go rulers, yes. And then we go not... Or we can just probably just look through those. Oh, they're all my religion anyway. Seriously? They all converted? Oh, you fuckers. I wanted to take your land off of you. <laughs> all right, never mind then. Well, you know what? Who, who said that getting uh, religious revocation is a bad thing? Because that means if we expand literally anywhere else, we can take the land personally, despite the caster's bell. So that's pretty great. Um, be you, my designated regent. Uh, vodka. Vodka dear. You can be my... Oh, is that an elk? I'm not entirely sure. You can be my court physician. Sure, why not? Cupbearer. You'll do. Champion. You'll do. Uh, master of the Blade. I feel like this is all the same man. Yeah, it absolutely is. Uh, do you not also want to be the Master of the Bow? He's got too many jobs already. Kodama... Uh, venerable elders, basically, anyway, can only be, oh, okay, still, I thought maybe it would only be women, but these are definitely men, or bearded women, um, I'm gonna give it to only the women, though, because we are respectful of women in our society these days, uh, Goya, welcome aboard, let's go for Grio, all right, problem solved, my commanders have come to request my advice on some exercises they're performing outside the fortress walls, we could really use the strategic mind of yours, master, thank you, nice, we gain a threat strategist, there we go, all right, uh, 
another rare artifact. Okay, uh, who's our best chancellor then? Because you are definitely in charge of this. 25 Grand Vizier. Interesting, thank you. Uh, go and find this, you know, firstly demand religious conversion. Hey, uh, remember Throog. Shall I go and... What do you guys think of me, uh, hang on. Oh man, we could order them to take the vows as well. Wait, what? So we can do that to women... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, to order to take the vows, why not? Oh, she's an heir to our title. We can't. I thought we could unland some of our daughters by that method. That's a shame. All right. Um, you. What was I doing with you? Hey, search for the artifact. What I was going to say was, what do you guys think about me actually changing it from African Reformed Pagan to, like, the religion of Igor or the religion of Throog or something like that? Uh, I'll, I'll go and edit that in between episodes, you know, mod it in. Make it look, uh, make it look kind of nice. You know, for reforming the religion, I feel like it deserves to be named something better than just African. That seems so generic. Hi God, the creator. It just seems so, 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 almost like Paradox phoned it in a little bit, you know? That's why I feel like we should make our own religion with Blackjack and Hookers and Eagle Throog. Thank God for that. Oh, no, hang on, that's just skill technician. I thought, thought she came out a brilliant strategy. You know what? She's not terrible. Eagle, Bint, Irog. With some training, with some inheritance, she could become a very, very good character. Uh, let's appoint a shield maiden to give her... Oh, she said no. You fucker. Honestly. Um, oh, we can give her brave. Boom. She already had brave, I'm pretty sure. Anyway. Um, inspire Mellorism. Yeah, absolutely we're going to do that. You need to... Master over the battlefield is vital to keep the peace. 50% chance she gains one marshal. 50% chance she gains dual experience. And has a chance to improve her education as well. Oh, that's so good. That actually might be the best doctrine I've seen so far. Just in terms of the actual... The actual... Uh, the, like, the sort of tall play you can do for that. In terms of buffing up your airs. You know what? I, I actually brought this up a couple of episodes ago. That in terms of the, the AI in modern CK2 is really, really crappy. I might have even talked about this on Discord. I don't remember. But the, the AI is kind of crappy at CK2 these days. Because there's so much to consider. The player is infinitely better at min-maxing. Because, let's say, for example, with this character, right? We joined the Warrior Lodge for the Martial Focus. We've taken Martial Focuses. We've taken the Strategist trait. We've, we've really min-maxed in terms of the actual Martial traits that we can get. We're up to 30 Martial now. The AI isn't going to do that. You know, the AI isn't going to pick a, pick an air, make sure that they're strong. You know, play the Eugenics game until they get strong. Make sure they get the Brawny trait. Make sure they get the Zealous trait. Make sure they get a Martial Education. You know, give them a Siege Leader, things like that. They're not going to put them in the Society and recruit them to the Warrior Lodge like we're doing. They're not going to take... The, the reformation doctrines to be able to buff up their education as well. They're not going to ensure they get good marriages. Like the AI, in, in terms of, I didn't even mention like the way of life stuff and also the China stuff as well. There's so much that the AI is, is so bad compared to the player in doing that. I think Seeker 2 is now kind of an easy game. Maybe that's just me. Um, but it, it does seem so straightforward now compared to what it used to be. They've very much removed the random element, but I don't think they've brought the AI up to the same standard. I suppose that's where you turn the difficulty up to hard, right? Just to balance it. But it doesn't seem kind of fair, you know? You rarely see characters like this that the AI are churning out. Just my thoughts on it. So, speaking of which, speaking of making more OP characters, you are part of the society, right? We're inspiring Mellorism in a, as well. How often can we do that? Um, five years. Every five years, there's a chance we can increase our education. That's very, very good. That's, like, insanely good. Particularly if you're quite a young ruler. Like, obviously, this is our, our what, our fifth, sixth born, seventh born child, sixth born child. If it's your first born with the, those are strong genius who comes out with a crap education, gives you a chance to turn, turn a very mediocre character into an insanely good character. Man. I mean, there's so much I can go into about it, but that's, that's, that's so good. I, I really enjoy some of these features, but in terms of the difficulty, they might have ruined it a little bit. Um, wait, we can choose another lifestyle trait, or is it just a different one? I assume we can just switch from strategist to something else. Yeah, okay. No, we'll, we'll absolutely keep that one if you don't mind. And that's that's another good part of it, like, like being able to flip between them. The AI is not going to do that, depending on the situation either. To celebrate the newly reformed religion, let's go. Look, we've got to debone the Pope this episode. Come on. I'm going right in with the right news, because I don't really mind, because they'll obviously reinforce as we're out there, so we can leave them out there for longer. Man. We need, to, we need to actually take these bones. Uh, how many episodes have I tried to get these bones in a row now and I've still failed? Um, Truths are expiring with who? Okay. Uh, remind me why I care? Let's take him out. Pope, I need your bones and I won't take no for an answer, old man. Apparently they've been raided. Oh, they've been at a war or something recently. Highway of Robban, furious peasants. This Pope is terrible. Pope Innocentius II is apparently crappy and has ruined the realm. Um, oh, shit. They've got a cardinal up next, like a landed cardinal. That's kind of cool. All right. Hit him, boys. Let's grab... Has he still got them? No one else has grabbed them in the meantime. No. Burns of St. Peter and a dragon amulet, so this could be win-win. Alright. Let's give it a go, team. My daughter. 
You could not fail to notice how joining the children in the storm seems to have roughened up my daughter. The training she's going through is undoubtedly getting results, but it's turning my sweet, delicate daughter into a coarse, foul-mouthed fighter. Um, as long as it makes her stronger, she loses the trait groomed, but gains the trait brawny. That seems like a good trait to me. She's up to 23. This is exactly what I was talking about a second ago. Like, this is all choices we have actively made, or I've actively made as a player, but you too can make at home. Um, that the AI would never do. You know, the, the AI would never choose to do these things in order. So... I feel like the player has a, a, a distinct advantage these days compared to old CK2 where it just used to be completely random. Um, nah, fuck off. I can't be bothered. That, that, sometimes that event costs money. And you know what? I kind of want to keep the money this time. Hail, hero. I'm skewing my duties. Am I really? So we want to... What do you want us to do? You want us to focus on hunting. Uh, I think we're good, actually. I think we're fine. Or we're taking theolo... Oh, the What's that about today? Theology again. I, I, I've said that two videos in a row now. Um, you know, we could have taken hunting. Maybe I'll just take war. Let's just take war. Fuck it. Let's go for, let's go for some more reinforcements. Why not? Um, right. So, the spirit guardians. With the reformation of many African pagan belief systems into a single coherent whole, several tribes have agreed to pull together their best warriors into a single holy order. You, my friend, are going to get vassalized. As the head of the religion, what do you think of me? You don't care. Like, he actually doesn't give a shit that I'm the head of the religion. That doesn't seem right to me. All right. Um, let's go holy orders. Why don't we land him? Why don't we just land him and, and, and vassalize him? Go on, land a title. Uh, the African... Wait, we can make him the head of the religion and the battle pope? Oh my god, battle pope sounds fun. Uh, no, you, my friend, you're going to get... Oh, it's kind of difficult to do this, though, because... Oh, wait, this counts as Marrakesh? Does it really? I didn't even realize that our du jour duchy was Marrakesh. Sure, okay, we need to get Marrakesh then first, or the, the, or the rest of the duchy, so that... If we control that as our du jour capital, he will say yes to vassalization. So we need to wait for that first. Um, yeah. I don't know why you're so annoyed. What's wrong with you? Um, foreign conqueror. Domain too big. Dislikes obligation law. Raise levies. Tribal law. Fair enough. These are all good complaints. These are all valid complaints. I need to get rid of some provinces, don't I? I've got way too many. Okay. Uh, you can have... Yeah. Grand Line Tower. You can have whatever this fucking province is called. Um, Wagadoo do do push pineapple shaker tree. Here you go, take that one, pal. Um, Gao, we'll give Gao away to whoever is a nearby. Oh man, we don't have anyone. Um, yeah, Grand Line title. You can have Gao, pal, because I'm feeling generous. There we go, seven out of seven. Problem solved. All right, so we failed getting the Pope's bones. Why don't we head to Venice, like the big prizes? Because don't get me wrong, taking the Pope's bones would be a big prize, but it's only to ship it off to China so we can get something back. Actual hard gold would be a bit more, a, a, a more tangible benefit right now. He says, heading over to Constantinople. Oh, seeing as they are fairly undefended, this might not be a bad idea. Now, what artifacts do you have? Just Dragon Amulet? Okay, never mind. Change my mind. Goodbye. See you next time. I should really play in the Byzantine Empire at some stage with all their new Imperial laws. That could be quite fun. Oh, man, they've only got one troop in Venice. You poor man. In awe. Right, this is going to give us a shit ton of gold. Watch this. This will, this will completely fill up the boats, I think. We've got to get 180 gold to fill it up. I think, I think we'll manage to grab that from Venice. Um, she's lo losing diplomacy but learning martial. Fine. Absolutely fine. 10.24. This is so good. She's going to be a powerhouse by the time we actually get to play as her. Boom. 183 gold. Told you it filled the boats. You guys didn't believe me, but it absolutely did. Right. How long until we can pass the next level of the tribal obligation so that we can go for... It's going to be like three years now? Something like that? Yeah. It's exactly three years. Just got this CK2 foresight going on right now, apparently. I want to make sure people know, or people remember, Irog not only as the saviour of the religion, but as a furious, hideous, terrifying raider. Oh, 200 gold to keep the trade route running. It's probably not worth it at that point. Let me, let me do the maths here. Uh, tax plus 30%. We don't have any cities. Tribal tax plus 20%. The monthly or the yearly gold we're getting from this. Um, it's not worth it, is it? I suppose that is... No, because it, it, it t pings yearly, as far as I recall. So we get like 33 gold a year from that, and it's going to cost me 200 gold to keep it running for an extra 25%. That's of course not worth it. That's too expensive. No, fuck that trade route. Get out. All right. Um, smallpox spreads across the sea, and there's a man with smallpox, just in case you're wondering. Actually, I don't think he has got smallpox. I think it's just hideous. I think it's just a big old fat boy covered in blood. Severely, I love that he's got this Greek house name. Severely injured, infirm, drunkard, possessed. How are you not dead? What the hell have you got? Oh, man, I thought he had a load of artifacts. He's got rare artifacts and just a regular artifact, right? The Chinese artifacts, unfortunately, count as rare artifacts, which, you know, is a little bit distracting there. He was a strong genius as well. Man, here was me. Like, man, you'd never see the AI doing that. But to be fair, I think he is the child of Satan. So that, that kind of puts into to perspective, right? That the child of Satan is slightly more powerful than our regular old... Or, or only very, very slightly more powerful than our regular man. CK2, everyone. Could do with a bit of balancing, I guess.
Hello, Aztecs. It's me, the true child of Satan. Uh, War Chief soon. Wrath of the Old Gods. Wrath. Wait. Great Grand. Sa what, a, what a fucking title. Hang on. Great Grand Saltigu Irog has informed all African shamans of the plans for a magnificent African pagan response. We now all pagan heads of religion may declare great holy war. Oh shit, I didn't realize we'd trigger it that fast. I guess the Crusades must have been going for a while, eh? Um, she's going to gain 25% chance of getting wounded, but she gets some personal combat. Absolutely. Fuck it. Proceed. We're to hit the Aztecs. The Aztecs are the big scary boys on the map. I want to show them who's really scary. It's this random dude from the Canary Islands. Oh my god, we're rinsing them. What the hell? We're just completely destroying it. Oh, it's, it's all that siege speed. Look at that. They didn't stand a goddamn chance. And there's another 300 gold for me. Thank you very much. Um, see you later. Bye, Aztecs. Damn, they were almost about to smash us as well with their 20,000 stack. That was convenient. No, no, no. It's definitely because we got the gold we wanted. And I definitely wasn't massively scared of that big army. Another 300 gold. We're up to 1,200 gold now in about five minutes. This could be a little broken, I think. This could be a little broken. Um, what about the Pope? We actually burnt everything else down. Oh, we actually didn't completely burn down the Pope. Why not? Let's get back over there and burn him down, eh? He's, he's always got plenty of gold. Oh, Genoa would probably be another good place to hit. Gamma Marshall lose to learning? Sure. She's already turned into a powerhouse. I can't wait to play as her. Oh, and she became the brilliant strategist. Can we appoint her as a shield maiden now? Still no. Um, can we just keep trying that over and over? No. You only get. I guess it's just every few years. Hello, Genoa. Um, I'm not becoming rivals with anyone. I'm good. I don't, I don't need anybody killing me. Oh, no. They've given us a new target. We have uh, Ushanuba. Ush, Rock the Ushanuba. Where is that? Um, hello? Oh, right, it's this one. Sure. We'll hit Genoa first, though, seeing as we're here. Um... Oh, careful. There's, there's 200 men there. Excuse me, I'd like to I'd like to take over this raid. Which, can you leave? Are we going to just win it for them? Don't you have Tuscany? Well, that's a little bit annoying. We're not even getting any gold for this. Yeah, I'm just here to help out. Don't mind me. Everyone will remember. Um, oh, God. My daughter had a child. Igor bin Irok had a child. This child is of my blood and I will take care of them both. I'm very disappointed. Lunis. Lunis, are you any good? Lunis, you are terrible. You're going, in, you're going in the ocean, my son. My grandson, you're going in the ocean. You know what we could do? Um, we could do this. Yes. To ensure the purity of their bloodline. The divine purity of their bloodline. Gran Saltigu Irog and his daughter, Igor, have gotten married under the blessed auspices of the creator. Ensuring fullness and order. We can collect a royal aid duty for the ceremonies. 200 prestige, 200 piety. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to take 200 prestige, 200 piety. Man... This feels like a bad idea, but I love it. This seems great. Strong. She's strong and attractive. Fuck it. Why not? Uh, you know what? Actually, literally. Literally, fuck it. Why not? Oh, we can't. Not until not, not for three years, apparently. All right. We'll, we'll wait for that. The rumors were true. The hold of Huron was filled with treasure. Thank you. Okay, more, more gold. I mean, we could have got better than that going, going elsewhere. That's fine. Let's return home. Let's wrap things up. We did very well today. Plenty of gold. Um, what I'm going to do then is probably invest that gold before I forget. What do we want to get before we actually upgrade to a city? Uh, honestly, as much as we can do. Because it's cheaper to get it like this, as far as I recall. Great idol. What does that do? Fuck knows, but I'm going to build it. That sounds awesome. It's 400 gold, so we better do something. Um, we could save the gold and wait till we become a republic and then just build a city there with the gold instantly. That's not a bad idea as well. Now, I would like to spend the gold on on uh, on claims, but we're also not getting any claims right now. 100% chance yearly. I d disagree. Doubt. I'm going to say doubt on that one. Um, Chief Divinus will just get everything set up. What else shall I invest in while we're here? I mean, I really don't want to invest in much else because we want to move over to Marrakesh as our capital at some stage. So, as far as I'm concerned, we're in a good situation. Thank you for watching today. We ticked all the CK2 boxes. We've got incest. We've got reformation. We married our daughter. We became a good warrior. We killed some Aztecs. Welcome to Crusader Kings, everyone. Shout out to my insane top tier level patrons. Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holton, Jacob Alexander Fenson, Jackson Woodman, Escape Process, James Ogilvy, Paul, Conspired Team, Necrophilum, Michael Mullen, Haydog, Oxwolf, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Logan Thorne, Average Gamer 419, and I'm the Lizard King for their support of the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you. Oh, interesting. So you can actually only inspire people. That's that's a cool little, uh, like, uh, a, a, what's the expression? Good little catch? No, that's wrong. 